Now, also breaking tonight, police filing charges against a man in connection with a double murder in Westmoreland County. Victor Stebbin arrested earlier today on other charges. Pam Serrano is in Penn Township where police just informed us about these new charges. Pam. Yeah, first earlier, Ken, it was like a scene from a movie today. Police officers with their rifles drawn, trailing Victor Stebbin on Route 30 in Irwin before onlookers who actually some of them fleed from their fled from their cars. They were so terrified. And tonight, police tell us that after a day long manhunt, Victor Stebbin is also charged with double homicide. Investigators have charged 53-year-old Victor Stebbin of North Huntington in connection with a double homicide they are calling brutal and horrific. Investigators say Stebbin admitted to ambushing the victims. And basically admitted that he had, uh, was lying in wait when Mara and Jacob returned home on Sunday evening. Uh, after being on a bike ride, a motorcycle ride that afternoon, and a immediately attacked them as they came in onto the property. 27-year-old Mara Casal, a Penn Trafford High School graduate, and 40-year-old Jacob Erdeljack, a Duquesne Light employee, were found dead Monday on Claridge Elliott Road inside their Penn Township home. We have been interviewing different people from their lives for the last 36 hours. And for 36 hours, we have heard nothing but good things about those two young people. Police swarmed Route 30 near the Turnpike in Irwin today in a dramatic takedown of Stibben, with eyewitnesses watching the whole scene of him being taken into custody. Were you trying to avenge something? No. Payback. This weekend, police responded to a string of violence in Westmoreland County. Saturday, three houses were shot in Hempfield and Swickley townships. Then in North Huntington, police responded to a classic car bombing on Clay Pike and a fire on North Thompson Home, where they now say Stebbin lived alone. The ATF says they are looking into the possibility that these are related. Following Stebbin's arrest today, the Allegheny County Bomb Squad was brought into his North Thompson Lane home. And tonight, his dark green pickup truck was brought into Penn Township Police for processing. Now, police want the public to know that just two hours after they released the name and picture of Stebbin, the public stepped up and called in a tip, and that led them right to him on Route 30 today. Now, as far as a relationship between Ertel Jack and Stebbin, the district attorney was able to tell us that the two were acquaintances and that Stebbin said in some way he felt disrespected by the younger man. Now, his charges are officially first and second degree murder, and because of that, no bond will be set. We're live in Penn Township tonight. Pam Serrano, KDKA News.